what's up keto fam it's your favorite little keto goofball diamond back again well, this is the series where you get to watch this former bbw model go to a keto cutie maybe even an adorable keto cutie am i conceited maybe <laughs> anyway guys and dolls if you're new here you should subscribe i weigh in every single day share what i eat every day and tell you about my life every day mostly because i consider these people my personal close friends and I love having each and every one of you guys around. I also share my ketogenic knowledge with you, everything I learn every day, because I am often learning something new. I mean, almost always often. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like or thumbs up button. And if you are here just to dislike my videos, please at least watch them first and have a reason to dislike them. Check out what I ate yesterday that was keto friendly, although yesterday was Christmas, so there was really only one keto friendly meal. Guys, I wasn't going to eat again today because I just had Thanksgiving uh, dinner at 1 o'clock. But I'm really, really hungry. My belly's growling. So I'm going to... Oh, Christmas dinner. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> around 1 p.m. today. So I'm actually going to go ahead and have a cheeseburger salad. And you can't see it, but the cheese is kind of all in... It's melted into the meat. A lot of mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup. Yum. Hey, guys. <laughs> so I have... Um, I had Christmas dinner, which I cheated for, um, and that was around 1 p.m. today. Around 7 p.m. today, all the symptoms of me being kicked alleviated. Uh, sinus pressure went away. The headache went away. Um, I'm not hurting anywhere. I'm not sure that I'm actually back in ketosis. Uh, I do know that the longer you do keto, the quicker your body wants to go back into ketosis because it likes that state. So I do believe that I'm also peeing a lot. So it tells me I probably am, maybe, I'm really not sure. I'm probably not fully back fat adapted yet, but I definitely think I've cycled back in. Uh, yeah. My boyfriend got me a vape. He wants me to stop smoking. I agree. Good job, boyfriend. I finally found it, y'all. There's our girl, Tammy. Let's read this thing and see what it says. Look who's awake and come to see mama. Hi, you beautiful thing. Oh, crazy cat. Kitty knocked something down. Not my drink down. What's tank? What's tank? How you doing? Do you see yourself? I don't know if you can see or not. See like that. Oh, Puss get out of here. Grandma's boy. One of them. Hey, Uncle Brian playing video games. Holding a baby. Well, um, let's talk about the non-keto things. Because yesterday was technically a planned, not planned, planned again cheat day. <laughs> um, I was actually going to stay pretty keto friendly until I seen what some of my gifts were and decided not to because it would be a very big waste of the, half of the gifts I got, which were sweets because initially I had intended to cheat and then I changed my mind, but I didn't tell people and yeah, sweets were bought, okay? <laughs> the, the box of chocolate covered cherries was like this. I only ate three of them. Because then my throat started to tickle and I realized it's probably not a good thing. <coughs> Sorry. And for Thanksgiving dinner, we had ham and rolls, mashed potatoes and macaroni. And that was the, all of I didn't eat no beans. But the, 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 we did make pintos, but I didn't, I didn't eat none of them. And I only had a serving of you know mashed potatoes and macaroni. I uh, had two rolls. And a bite of an Oreo uh, theme of all... How are those called? No. It's like a new kind of chocolate bar, but it's Oreo. It's not that good. I had a bite. Oh, was it the Hershey Kisses? Um, cookies and cream Oreo one? No, it's an actual Oreo. It's got two chocolate bars in them. They're actually Oreo chocolate bars from the Oreo oh. company. Yeah. And they're not that good, though. <laughs> Would have been way better if it was just a long ass Oreo, but it wasn't. Um, so, did I have anything else? A couple of them hazelnut Hershey Kisses Destiny got me. Did you have any of the ice cream from yesterday? I didn't have like a milkshake. Everybody else had milkshakes. Yesterday I had like a small sugar ice cream cone with ice cream in it. Just a little bit of one because my, my grandson broke one in half and I used that one. Um, so that was that was it and that was about 1.30 and then I started fasting and I was going to fast until today. Well, last night everybody got hungry and I made um, beef and cheese. And I had a, a cheeseburger salad out of that. So I went straight back to keto. Today I'm having issues though. Every time I turn around, my brain's going, we need something sweet. Now the hell we don't, leave it alone. But my brain's going, 
wouldn't you like? No, we wouldn't. Uh, oh, but look, there's a Reese cup sitting there. Don't touch it. <laughs> and then those chocolate covered cherries. I was like, I can have one. But then they make my throat tickle. Then my daughter came in. Her and Aaron are in between doctor's appointments. Baby had an appointment this morning. He's 8.1 pounds still. Doing good. And breast milk and all that stuff's going great. So he's doing great. And then uh, I gave her all the chocolate covered cherries. Destiny gave her some Reese's cups and stuff. So she went home to sugar load, which we probably shouldn't do to her either. And I'm going to talk her into going keto as soon as I possibly can because it's just good for her. And she's having a lot of swelling and stuff after the baby's been born. So, honey, I know you watch my videos. Please do a little bit of keto. Just a little bit. Ha, ha, ha. Go ahead and eat them sweets. Get them out of the way. Then, then, please. Think that'll work? Yeah. She thinks that'll work. I don't think it'll work. It on me. Oh, did it work on you? Oh. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah, what am I doing? I forgot what the hell I was talking about. Let's talk about my weight. So my lowest and yesterday morning's weight was 198.4. This morning I got on the scale at exactly 200, so I'm 1.6 pounds up. Not too bad considering what all I ate. But I did go straight back keto. The next few days will be a struggle because, for one, my fat protein was way off. So I'm going to just be hungry. And then the carbs, of course, as they wear out, you're going to starve, feel, feel like you're starving, going to have sugar cravings. Ugh. <laughs> it's, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I started to say it's worth it for an occasional cheat day. It's really not. Um, a little bit after eating yesterday, of course, I got the pounding headache. The severe sleepiness, the knees and ankles aching and hurting, my back hurting. But after about four hours, it wore off, and then I went ahead and ate a keto-friendly meal, so I felt much better. I don't know that I'm in ketosis, but I feel a lot better. And, of course, tomorrow's weigh-in will tell me. Although, I did also start peeing like you would not believe yesterday. So, I was like, damn, I think I'm in, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no telling. As y'all see, my tree will remain up until after Thanksgiving. Good Lord, that's going to be an old-ass, dusty tree. Um, but now I'm going to leave it up until after the first of the year, although I've put all the stockings away. I have put all the ornaments off the tree. But it's an old wives' tale. It's lucky to leave the tree up until, or it's actually bad luck to take the tree down before Thanksgiving. Uh, damn, what is with me in Thanksgiving, y'all? Um, before New Year's. So... I don't know, it's just always been a thing in our family with a tree up until after New Year's. But all the stuff's going off of it. It's, it's going to get more normal around here again. I'm going to worry about buying nobody nothing specific except for uh, birthday gifts as they come. Corina's in... Uh, Corina and Hunter are both in March. Uh, uh, oh, Lord, I forgot. Zach and Aaron are both in, uh, in January. And Corina and Hunter are both in March. Then Brian's in April. And follow along to... August with Destiny. They's going to be birthdays and stuff. Y'all know how that works. Everybody with a big family knows. Everybody's got a damn birthday every month. Uh, I'm just running my mouth now. I'm going to stand up and show you this outfit completely. This is one of the things my husband bought me that I didn't show y'all all together. I don't think. I might have. Y'all might have seen this. I don't know. Well, I'm going to show you my body anyway, okay? I like these pants, but again, I had to roll them up twice. No worries, y'all. <laughs> oh, goodness. For I hate to say this. For the rest of your days. For the rest of your days, that's right. It's a problem-free problem -free philosophy. philosophy. Shut up, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm liking my hair today. I don't know what it's doing, what's different, but I'm liking it. You should let me curl it with a straightener later and see if... Um, you can curl it, but it never stays. It, it never stays. Like, they curl it, and it just kind of... It's, it's like almost taking a straightener to it after a minute. We'll try. Okay, I'll let her play with it. I don't care. But I, I like what my hair is doing today. It's kind of neat. I'm liking the color now. I mean, to me, it's not green anymore. It's not gray anymore. It might be a little bit, but I like it fine. Um, if you guys need any help doing keto and getting started on keto, ketodiamond.com or right here. I've got a whole playlist on this channel. Also, some great resources that I love. Thomas DeLauer, um, Dr. Barry, Dr. Berg, don't buy anything. <laughs> you don't need to buy anything. Keto is completely, completely knowledge-based. You just need meat and cheese and eggs and green vegetables and, and um, 
some oil, like avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, my favorite. Y'all, you girls just about completely made a coconut oil, okay? I cook in coconut oil, and when I get out of the shower, I, I smear coconut oil everywhere, except for before, I do it before I dry off, because it feels better than after the coconut oil is everywhere, I dry off, you know? So if you need anything keto-wise, drop me a comment, drop me an email, add me on Facebook, hit my website, I'll help you with everything I know, and divert you to places that know more than I do if you need something I have no clue about. Much love to you guys and dolls. How was your Christmas? What did you get? Did you stay keto? Because I know I did not. What did you weigh in? How much have you lost? Are you just getting started? Let us know. Much love. Okay guys, so I've had about 8 hours of rest the day after a cheat. My lowest was 198.4 as of yesterday I think. <laughs> So I'm going to get on here and see what kind of damage my cheating done yesterday. I don't feel bad at the moment, so that's good. Okay, do have another dot, so that is 1.6 pounds up of water. And again, I don't feel bad, so that's good physically. Okay.